in the system. The fact that we are letting sexual and gender-based violence to thrive in Nigeria is the real corruption in Nigeria. We are tired, we are tired, we are tired. And we are calling on the government to, as a matter of urgency, declare a state of emergency on sexual and gender-based violence. Okay. We want our inheritance rights to be respected. Gender and Equal Opportunities Bill. Who are those that are scared of it? It is these same people who are oppressing and suppressing women. And we are tired. So now we are here to say that Anybody who has not said anything definite on sexual and gender-based violence actually has no business in political office. And we are calling for everybody, all human beings in Nigeria, to ensure that those people are out. You can use your... We must continue to build capacity of our policemen. We must continue to build a generation of police officers who can empathize with our women, who can show tact, who can show understanding and who can work with victims, victims' family, activists, and other positive-minded citizens to combat rape. You know, there are really no laws guiding the woman and the girl child. So I think the police and the government should implement laws that will guide and protect women and girl children in the society.